Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Brett Tadlock, TN Artist. I want to thank you for being here. Today's uh, Over the View Quick Speed Painting is one I've done for my patrons. It's really more of a technique video to discuss how to uh, get really thick impasto type brush strokes for a painting uh, when you're doing digital stuff. Art Rage works really well for that. I like to combine it personally with a couple different other things that I do, but um, it does work well. So what I'm doing here is I have a uh, just a rough sketch of a poppy that I'm doing and putting a few in the background and just a really neutral background. Don't really care about it because, uh, again, this whole painting is not a finished painting. It's more about getting that look and technique and, and talking about a few other things like how to set something up in the background to kind of go along with what you're painting, how to also... Um, use the marquee tool to draw with and everything else and then messing around with it uh, to fill in and kind of lay your base painting down and then from there start using different effects of the uh, layers along with some of the tools to get a really thick paint look. Now what I'm doing here is laying out first with my impasto brush that's my custom brush that you can get over on uh, Gumroad but then what I'm doing after that is laying in with the oil brush to start laying out some of the uh, rough brush strokes underneath it. And so I'm working on that here and talking about how to, to get kind of that feel and blend between the two, knowing that I'm going to then blur this out somewhat so it just has that kind of feel and touch to the back end of it and can see it so and then again just kind of playing around with the background to add in some stuff for you know if you were going to make this into a finished painting to give it that kind of look and a blurred out you know uh, field of depth that you get from a camera or whatever so uh, once I've got that laid in there and kind of messed around with and then uh, from there it's time to start messing with the petals and so what I do is I start drawing those in with the um, selection tool and then talking about different ways to take the impasto brush and how to use it so that it starts laying the foundation again for the um, thick paint strokes that you're going to put over top of this and build up that feeling of thick wet paint so just trying to uh, lay it out quickly and discuss that here again if you want to see the full uh, lesson it's over on my patreon page it's only three dollars a month and there's hours and hours and hours of content there so feel free to join and you know take a look at it and stuff i think there's like 40 something people there now so it's you know kind of a cool thing to be able to help everyone and so feel free to join and um again if you've not done this technique this is kind of fun to just kind of use the lasso tool to draw out some different uh, shapes and stuff that way you can work on all at once and kind of go from there with it so but again more of it is just kind of shaping it and laying that groundwork and getting it all set up for everything that we want and need and then um, from there just kind of keep uh, laying down more stuff to go into it all right so here you can see the way it kind of looks and lays out that. Now what I'm doing next is taking the oil brush, the thick gloss, and painting a layer underneath it to start adding in some of those striations from brush strokes and stuff. The interesting thing about like a uh, Himalayan poppy is that they are their petals themselves are very uh, wrinkled and stripy kind of feeling. So this works perfectly for this one. Uh, and then from there, just trying to, you know, lay it out some more, get that thick paint look and feel. And then once I've kind of got that how I want and I'm on the layer I want, the next thing I'm going to do is take the tube uh, paint and I'm going to lay out some ridges of paint. And then take that and start streaking that down into the layers of paint below it. And it kind of gives you and blends it into the direction of the paint that you got and gives you a nice, really thick feel. Now, this works good on here and it works you know it's good on art rage but i have found that if i take and combine it with a couple other uh techniques that i discuss over on patreon uh, that i can get a really nice realistic look and and view for, from it so um also don't be afraid to rotate your canvas that's why that tool's there it makes your life a little bit easier 
to uh, be able to move it around and not twist your wrist in a couple different shapes and you know stuff so that way uh, you end up getting carpal tunnel if you're not careful so as you can see uh, one of the keys to this technique is just really laying out these thick edges of paint and then blending them back into what you've done below and then from there building up more and building up more and that's kind of what this is so it's kind of self-evident so I'll let it keep playing here and that way you can take a look at it again if you have questions jump over on Patreon, join us there, like I said, three bucks a month, or put it here, and I'll do the best I can to answer it. Uh, but some of this really started to get to that look of, like I've done several paintings in the past, where you paint with plaster, and then get that, you know, paint over top of it. And that's kind of what this was starting to look like here to me, was that kind of feel. But anyway, so I hope you get something out of this. I hope you've uh, gotten a little bit just seeing it kind of over the shoulder, a really quick viewpoint of it. And again, if you have questions, just let me know. But thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave me any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, and I'll be sure to try and work on them for upcoming videos. Thanks so much.